Alright, what's going on guys? Yes, for my project back at it again in here for another video for you guys for today. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Impact Wrestling Rebellion, where it was supposed to be a pay-per-view, ended up being a free preview, if you will, and having to be a two-week event, somewhat similar to WrestleMania. And with this one, of course, as always, I have the, the tablet with me, so I'm going to get right down into it. And for week one, what we have with matches and everything where we had OVE and having Tommy Dreamer's team in this one with Rhino and as well the returning Crazy Steve which is pretty cool so I haven't really seen him in a while and everything not since uh, WrestleCade so it's been quite a bit for me honestly and you know with this one wasn't too bad of a tag team match and of course Tommy Dreamer's team was able to get the win and Rhino was able to get the gore there so that's fine, can't go wrong there. Uh, then when we had the next match where we had um, the tag teams going at it and this one, when we had Dez and the Woods from the Rascals on this one, uh, Issei Romero and Larry D on this one, basically uh, a newly formed team recently, uh, TJP and Fala Ba on this one. And it really could have went, honestly, for me, either for Dez and Woods or TJP and Fala Ba and you know, TJP and Follow Bot actually working really well and everything and we've also learned that Follow Bot's been talking and a little bit more talkative lately so still trying to get used to that and everything uh, but in the end we did have of course the Rascals actually getting the win which is fair enough and everything so you know we'll see who's going to be able to be able to stop the North because the North has been you know, doing things their way and staying tag team champions, which I like that, and they have been a really cool team, one of my favorite teams on Impact, so, you know, that's been pretty damn interesting there. And we had the X Division Championship on the line, Ace Austin and really Mac, and these two going back and forth and everything, and it's pretty cool to see where really Mac has been, especially now that which one has been, you know, injured and everything, now looking to be brought back and stuff so you know Billy Mac was trying to you know figure things out especially you know, you know since he didn't have uh, what's wrong with him so Billy Mac was able to go ahead and face East Austin being the X Division and everything and now Billy Mac was able to actually get the X Division championship so that's really interesting there so you know I want to see where that goes and everything for Billy Mac uh, then when we had uh, Kylie Ray who was able to make a return to Impact, we saw her for a little bit, but it was only like a one-time type of deal. So now she's looking to be there more often, which is cool against Kira Hogan and everything. They still going back and forth and everything. And uh, in in the end, we had Kylie Ray winning, so that was really interesting to see them to see where things going to be going for her and everything. You know, kind of like being where Bailey once was and everything, so kind of like similarities between the two. So, I want to see more Kylie Ray for sure. So, it's cool she's on Impact. And then we had the unsanctioned match, of course, with Ken Shamrock and as well as Sammy Callahan. And that's when we saw a little bit of OVE and everything and trying to help out Sammy Callahan, but he didn't really need the help and everything. So, this one is more like a cinematic match and everything and something that Impact usually does and everything so of course we've seen it with WWE at WrestleMania and stuff so you know that seems to be like kind of like uh, the thing now to do in wrestling right now with COVID-19 definitely like screwing up plans especially for this event too as well so in the end Sammy Callahan uh, being able to get the win is pretty interesting um, him being on his own that's fine and it doesn't really bother me so I think that's pretty cool and kind of like in a way like a hacker like gimmick kind of like what we're seeing on Smackdown now so we'll see where that goes and I actually like them on zone and have OBE do their own thing and everything so we'll see and uh, now we get into a week two and for week two we start things off with the X Division obviously so this one was definitely one of my favorite matches of the night. Basically, we had Chris Bay, Trey Miguel, Suicide returning, uh, we, we heat, Raju on this one, and in the Fatal 4 match. And, you know, with this one, I was going for Chris Bay. I've been, you know, 
checking him out and he's been blowing on me and he just recently debuted on Impact so I was hoping he would and he did so you know to see him go for a future match for the X Division Championship you know that's fine makes sense and definitely want to be seeing more of him for sure so you know it's really cool that he was able to get the win there uh, then we had uh, Joey Ryan who has been you know doing things a little bit differently lately not so much like the dick spot and everything like that but kind of like a right to censor type of deal with cancel culture so he's definitely been a lot more different lately and you know being able to go at it with cousin Jake and everything from the Deaners and you know, Joey Ryan actually pulled out a win so that was pretty interesting there but um you know pretty good match definitely for sure and then the next one where we had one of my favorite matches definitely uh, where we had Rosemary just got havoc and the full man of mayhem definitely really awesome stuff where we had the use of weapons on this one and Rosemary you know really like kind of like playing the mind games and everything trying to actually get out of the match but you know didn't really uh, go so well for Jessica Havoc and actually having Rosemary getting the win so that's fine and everything I guess Jessica Havoc is behind her who knows we'll have to wait and see when it comes to that and everything and what was supposed to be a matchup a triple threat match for the Impact Wrestling World Championship where we were supposed to have you know Michael Elgin be able to go at it with Eddie Edwards and as well Tessa Blanchard of course with COVID-19 changing things now and they're not able to make it and everything so we still had a triple threat match it was for the world title but it was for the TNA title and everything so we had Moose and Hernandez in this one and I guess that's like the next best thing to the Impact Wrestling world title and then having the TNA world title so it is what it is when it comes to that and, uh, you know, the match is fine for what it was, and, you know, couldn't wait to Michael Evan. I felt like he would have won, but we actually had Moose actually winning this one. Could also went to Hernandez on this one, wouldn't have been against that really either. Had the veteran win it, but Moose ends up actually winning it. Basically, it was handed to him, so he ended up actually winning it, so I guess we'll see. TNA World Title for however long it takes until things get back to normal somehow. And Tessa Blanchard could go back and actually defend the Impact World Title. So who knows at this point when things will get back to normal on this. But that remains to be seen and things unfortunately continue with self-quarantine and all that stuff unfortunately. But you know hopefully you guys are staying safe and that's basically it for Impact Wrestling with night one and two so two week event and everything and um we'll see what happens until then and that about does it for me and then i'll catch you guys in the next video whatever the hell the next video may be till then leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll talk about the video well after that this video is up until then stay safe out there <laughs> Okay, forget it, I got it. You kids ain't really really about it. I say posh, I'm trying to go diamond. Okay, forget it, I got it. Okay, forget it, I got it. These boys ain't really really about it. I say side trying to overcompress. Okay, okay, forget it, I got it. Don't worry, I got it for real. Don't worry, I'm honest as hell. Don't worry, I keep it a bill. Honestly, feel you finna go fail. So when you say my name, you better go chill. You never know when, you never know where. But chances are, I run it in there. Sometimes weird, you shit in my tracks for a couple of years. Now you love it when you suck as a pair. Think I got a motherfucking idea. Oh yeah, and I got another one here. Ain't for effort, but can never compare I just got this devilish dance with my reflection set in the mirror But after this, but the all be